What's up, everyone? I hope you're having a good day. We're going to be talking about Camber Energy, currently trading hands at 83 cents. This is not financial advice, trade and invest at your own risk. The stock is currently up 40% for the day, but it did go as high as $1 today. So we're going to be talking about if the stock is worth a consideration for you right now with oil stocks shooting up really high right now, which is why... I suggested a while back investing in oil with the Ukraine-Russia tensions, especially with them boiling over right now. I had predicted oil would reach $100 a barrel in the near future. That prediction has come to fruition. So we're going to be looking at what entry points you should look at getting in. Obviously, we're seeing some consolidation here in such a volatile market. People are just wanting to lock in profits, and I do foresee that coming more. However... You may want to jump in and lock in some profits. Now, I loaded the boat heavy around the 50 cent range because I knew we would see strong support and uh, it paid off really well. And I can tell you, I last uh, sold around $1.80, you know, and I've been buying back in, selling, buying back in and selling. But anyhow, um, you know, that's why we say patience to buy, patience to sell, you know. You just have to understand the emotions in the chart and have patience, do the technical analysis, and just don't ever be too, you know, like, oh my God, I have to buy this. And, you know, so anyhow, we're going to be taking a look because I want you to get in at a good price and I want you to be able to sell at a good price. Now, as you all know, uh, Camber Energy reached quite a high this year. We're going to be overlooking. I mean, we're going to be looking over that. Um, will Camber Energy see another short squeeze? I'm not sure. So we're going to be talking about just getting you some good profits in such a volatile market and not counting on the short squeeze, but maybe considering holding a portion for the short squeeze. So anyhow, let's keep it moving and we're going to take a look. And as you can all see here, the low today was 73 cents. So we're dealing with a volatile stock here. So what we have to do is we have to count on that volatility. We got to get in at a low price and ensure that we don't invest and start losing money right away. Now, I've already invested, sold, doubled my money. So I'm good. But I want you all to make money because the fact is a lot of people are on the red and losing right now. So let's keep it moving. Now, earnings are expected on March 8th in the pre-market. What should we expect for these earnings? Honestly, I can't find any information on that. So I guess I'll revisit that if I find it. So I wish I had some information for you on what the expected EPS is. I mean, I don't know. They obviously haven't posted earnings in a while and... I don't know. I can't find any information any um, anywhere here. So I don't know what to tell you on that. Besides to say this, I think there there is some money to make in this stock. And again, this is not financial advice. Trade and invest at your own risk. But I'm personally not writing on the earnings report in this stock. Now, with that being said, it could be positive. I just don't know. And I'm not going to pretend to know what the earnings are going to be for camber energy so with that being said let's keep it moving and i'm going to focus on a good price where i think you could take a consideration to get in and we're going to look at some potential exit prices and that's all I, that's all i have for you for now so you know if you're concerned about the um EPS, you know, you may want to jump out. You know, I just, I wish I had more info uh, for you on that. That being said, you can always set a stop loss and cover yourself. Now, this is not the current price, but again, that's, I'm just trying to show you an overview of the past year here of what the chart looks like. So let's keep it moving. And as you can see here, from September 23rd to September 30th, 2021, the price moved from a low of $1.53 to a high of $4.85. So again, you know, it's a volatile stock. It's one, if you're a novice trader, you know, you got to be careful with this one. And I don't necessarily recommend it to novices. 
from September 30th to October 7th, we've seen a low of $0.85 cents to a high of $4.37. Now, I just want you to keep in mind the low August of 2021, $0.33. Cent, uh, $0.35 cent is at the time what I was recommending people buy in. And at the time, that was a safe spot to get in. So I just want you to understand that the lower support level, you know, could potentially be as low as you know 45 to 50 cents and i just want to reiterate as i said this is not financial advice trade and invest at your own risk but i think 55 cents at this point is a good point of consideration and a good exit point for consideration is 70 cents as you can see the stock is currently trading hands at almost 68 cents it moved down almost six cents for the day so we're talking about playing it safe here. And if you can get in at 55 cents and sell at 70 cents, that's not. But if you want to try to wait until 90 cents, if you think there might be a bearish double top formed, you know, that's up to you. Like I said, you have to keep a watch on this every day. The RSI, how it's climbing, the volume, though that's not an exact measure. You know, I'm just giving you some, you know, scenarios, you know, you may want to hold until 75 cents. You may want to hold until 90 cents. I'm just giving you some scenarios. You know, I can tell you there will be plenty of people holding until $3, you know. It's totally up to you how long you hold you may want to take profits and try to buy back in around 50 55 cents and then hold until a dollar to three dollars you know it's your money do what you are comfortable with doing you know like i said you can always set your stop losses and try to hold longer you know you, you can get puts to mitigate risk how you play this is totally up to you i just think there's some money to be made here so that's why i'm sharing it with you but let's keep it moving and obviously when i say puts to mitigate risk i'm talking about if the price gets up here you know around a dollar and it's looking like it's going to start going down but again how you play this is totally up to you so let's keep it moving Chamber Energy and Viking Energy CEO releases company update February 23rd, 2022. And basically he talks about acquisitions, joint ventures, share restructuring, debt elimination, and other important topics and provides an update on Chamber's filings with the SEC. Status of the outstanding SEC filings for Chamber. The terms of Cambridge's promissory notes were materially improved with maturity dates extended and interest rates reduced. Conversion price of notes were fixed at $1.50 per share. Extinguished more than 40% of the Series C preferred shares at Camber to minimize dilution. Instituted at $100 million preferred share financing arrangement. This money is not necessarily, but it's safety net the company can use to facilitate growth if needed. Strengthen the organization's balance sheet. Reduced debt by more than $100 million by selling divisions that were subject to high interest loans and hedge arrangements that limited upside. Acquired a controlled interest in Simpson Maxwell, an 80-year-old business in the custom energy and power solutions section, as well as improved vendor to the healthcare industry. Licensed a patented carbon capture technology for environmental, social, social, and governance clean energy. In another, in another recent joint venture arrangement, Viking acquired 51% ownership in the entities that own the intellectual property associated with fully developed patent pending ready for market proprietary electric transmission and distribute sorry i'm getting tired distribution open conductor detection systems designed to detect a break in power line and immediately de-energize the line before it touches anything that can burn transaction partners have accepted viking stock as consideration for and I'm sorry, I tell you, I'm not a fan of TikTok. It cuts off a lot of the screen, so I apologize if I can't read all of this. Um, I do like how they have the backdrops. Having a visual aid is effective, but the three minute um, um, cut off and this, how it cuts off, 
anyhow um, demonstrating alignment and the partners and again the screen cuts off the rest but anyways um, just basically trying to highlight here some positive news for you you can always go look this up you know and read more about camber energy and you know you can read more about viking energy viking energy group incorporated is actually an otc stock so you can find that i uh, know like i have td ameritrade there's other um brokerage apps you can get it on but anyhow um you know that it pretty much moves in unison with camber energy obviously but um you know so if anyone's interested in that that's currently trading hands at 58 cents as i said they pretty much move in unison i do like the stock so i mean this is just my opinion but <clears throat> in this volatile market i'm just trying to make some profits on camber energy and any smaller mid cap stock that's moving up big i'm jumping in low when it jumps up I'm locking in profit. I'm taking my money and I'm running for the hills, you know. And he, this is even true, um, you know, with a lot of large cap stocks. I just, um, as I said, that's why I'm restructuring my videos because, you know, as you all seen that big dip that came, and that's why, as one of my followers could tell you, I keep in close contact with every prediction I've made. It, you know that they came to fruition and that's what I want to do for all of you but anyhow you know my thing is getting in low selling it mitigates my risk for when I marry the stock at the price because like I said I foresee some climbing and then another dump but anyhow thanks just in case anybody uh you know may have this question so what if camber energy moves down to this range here around 63 cents and then drops to 60 cents and then from this range what if we see some upward momentum and then up to let's say 90 cents because this is just my personal feelings but i don't think it will go quite back to a dollar but it moves back to 90 cents and a double bearish top is formed well that's where i would say then we would see the price moving back down around 50 cents 53 to 55 cents at most anyhow you know that's just a risk you have to take you have to figure out your risk tolerance again this is a highly volatile stock and i'm just suggesting the what is the lowest possible price and a couple scenarios here so i just wanted to throw this one out there as well but a thing to keep in mind here, you know, as I said, it takes most people a long time to catch on that the price is going back down. There's a lot of people that's like, you know, diamond hands and to the moon and that's all fine. But the bottom line is while they're waiting for it to go to three, four dollars, five dollars, whatever, we're consolidating down. So, you know, you see the price break down around 60 cents. And then you start to see panic selling from people that wouldn't sell at a dollar, right? Or around that range. And then that's when sometimes you can see the dip back down to around 55 cents, 53 cents, where I was recommending a consideration in the stock. So that's why I'm just, I'm trying to get you in the best possible price and limit your risk as much as possible. So if you want to get a percentage at 60 cents maybe a percentage at 55 and a percentage at 53 again it's your money how you play it is up to you but i'm just trying to give you some other um scenarios here you know you know the volatile market we're in but you know there is a hype factor in the stock right now so we can play that and play this volatility to our advantage to a degree, but we have to be patient, you know, we have to be patient and get in at what we think is the lowest possible price and then get out at the highest possible price and then be patient to get back in again and, you know, ride the wave up again, do it all over again. 
But anyhow, I just wanted to throw that out there. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good night. Peace. That's Friday, February 25th. Camber Energy was down around 8% for the day. And it went down about 1.5% after hours. So this is part two. So I'm going to pick up where I left off. So let's keep it moving here. And as you all know, on the last video, which I don't know, I started that several days ago. I said I expected more downside, so even though I haven't got back to that video, and I apologize for keeping you hanging there, but as I said, I see more room for downward momentum, price consolidation as people lock in profits, and you know, as I said, we hit a dollar, I got in at 50 cents, I sold at a dollar, doubled, pro um, I mean, doubled um, the, uh, I made double my money anyhow. Um, you know, as people slowly figure out that the price is going to go down, you know, people want profits, they start fearing losing capital. It takes a, it seems like a majority of the people a long time to figure out that that price is going to go down. And that's why it takes so long for the price to go down. It's crazy. But anyhow, um, so we're going to be looking at the best price for you to get in as people slowly catch on. To the fact that the price is going to go down and it may be a good idea to go ahead and take some profits here in this market you know despite the fact that the all-time high or the i'm sorry the 52 week high is four dollars and 85 cents so you know and again i had this ready before um so just don't pay attention to the other numbers on here i'm just pointing out the 52 week high here now, before the large upward momentum in Camber Energy, it was around 45 and a half cents. So just keep that in mind. And the way this works, it cuts off the dates. So I'm sorry I can't say them here. But anyhow, the low was 46 cents here and moved up to 53 cents. Now, this area here on February 23rd that I have marked is 50 cents. Do we move up in a bit? 52 and a half cents and still february 23rd 53 cents so anyhow what i'm suggesting is i think we're going to see consolidation down to around 53 cents to 55 cents i think that's a good entry point to wait to get in and this here is just showing you without the candlestick charts on february 22nd around 46 cents before the blast off so again with the candlestick charts it's more around 45 cents now, earnings are due on March 8th, and as I said, I'm not sure.